Hello, this is not a spring chicken. If I look like I'm supporting the Stars and Stripes, it's because Obama is coming to LA today for a fundraiser with Pelosi. And you too can join them for $2,500 per person for cocktails or $30,000 for a hundred for a couple for a dinner. Hmm. Although Monty did say she was going. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines. <laughs> Democrats running away from the mosque in New York as the White House tries to get the president's incentive foot out of his mouth. Oh, I, I, this guy, you know, is, you know, I understand that these people have an emotional tie-up to what happened at 9-11, but it's time for them to move on and get over it. That, he can't what? get by that. That's big. Well, he was in front of a whole bunch of Muslims. He was basically sucking up to the people of his religion and, I mean, like you didn't think the press, I mean, there's people in the, in the group of donators that don't like him because he is not one of them. He's a half-breed like I am, and they don't like him, folks, and they, they just snitched to the press right off the bat what he said. Yeah, but they'll let him try and get their stuff done for him. Well, yeah, they'll let, they'll let, but uh, yeah. do the same thing. They let a Jew do their work for them. That's right. Anybody that'll help them. That's the right. UN chief never seen anything like the Pakistan floods. I have. I saw the floods in the Midwest. <laughs> you want flooding? How about floods that are uh, walls of water that are 40 foot over the top of, of buildings that are 80 foot out of the water? Are you serious? Yeah. How about homes? Whole, you know, 4,000 square foot homes uh, floating down the Mississippi and Missouri River. Memo urges deputies to weigh arrests. Oh yeah, that is the um, the, the ICE has said that think twice before you actually arrest somebody because you know if they're if they're illegal aliens and they're not committing a crime then don't bother with them. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, me <laughs> yeah. But yeah. then how do you know they're not committing a crime? Well, you know what? It's like, I guess if you commit a crime and then pretend you're an illegal alien. Then you're going to get off free because, I mean, okay, you can't, I, I, okay, folks, the, this man says, you cannot arrest me. I'm here illegally, and therefore, I get to walk out of this bank with a million dollars I just stole. Hmm. Video, U.S. South Korea launched massive joint war, war games. Um, okay. This is called a roadrunner moment for the president. If you don't want to cause problems and you don't do stupid things. And Stargy is staging a great big war game. And since they does that qualify a, stupid? I think yeah, so. Yeah, they have a million men uh, 30 minutes from, uh, from Seoul, Korea. A new amendment to address citizenship issues would be tough in today's polarized environment. <laughs> don't believe it, folks. Because there are so many people out there that are pissed off about. Okay, I mean, I, I'm watching news people. Well, my my family came in during World War II, the regular way. My family came in during World War One, the real way. My family came here in the 1890s, the way you're supposed to do it. And we're supposed to be happy that 30 million people are here because our president won't do anything to stop the problem. Mm -hmm. Feds investigating fire at Northern California Post Office. Well, people are always doing things at post office. <laughs> but postal workers, okay, they're basically, you can't fire one of them. They only have to deliver, the, they have to see the mail is delivered. They don't have to deliver it any time within the next year, you know, but uh, you can, they're basically got the greatest life on earth, but they're always angry at the post office. Mm. It's now officially over for the Republicans as the Democrats are expected, according to internal polling, sweep all Republicans out of office. Everybody still wants to know what it is that they're taking. Virtually every poll, including the polls favorable to the Democratic Party, is looking. they were looking at a disaster in the House. They think now the Republicans might actually take almost all of the available Senate seats now, but a couple. Are you serious? They think that it could be a, it could be the biggest route in history because this president basically, he worked, on a daily basis, this president screws his party into the ground. Basically, okay, here's the problem. They say, well, the problem is is that he, he, he's just insensitive. No, the man is an elitist. He's saying what he believes. <laughs> he, he thinks that these people are all crybabies because they, you know, that their family were killed. He thinks that people are hanging on to their guns and Bibles because 
they don't have anything better to do, and he thinks Republicans are all, you know, should be that there should be one party rule with him as the king. Mm -hmm. Allergy sufferers prepare for a rough ragweed season. Well, yeah, because there's been and the weather has been nice for growing wheat. So. Oh, is that what it's been? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you know, the, it's sunny. As long as you're not by the beach. Yeah, it's sunny if you're not by the beach, but the weeds don't accumulate at the beach, so. And we're supposed to be getting, um, re well, actually some real heat. <laughs> yeah, but not by the beach. Not by the beach where we'd like the beach. Eight, eight months going on nine of this at the beach, folks. And I've been here for like eight decades, and I've never seen weather like this at the beach. It's almost like the days when the smog was everywhere. Fed say, well, it's not dead yet. More drilling needed. Well, yeah, because they're, going, they're basically going to try to do the final cap one, but basically it's going to be, they're still going to have the, uh, they're going to be below, they're still going to take oil out of that well, folks. Union leaders calls on L.A. teachers to boycott times. They didn't like the fact that they didn't say nice things about the union. Are you talking about the L.A. Times? The L.A. Times is left-wing people. They're very left-wing. They simply, what it is, um, the L.A. Times got telling the truth, and that's when you have a problem. Ooh, a U.S. census completed at $1.6 billion under budget. Anybody that believes that, believes that this man is going to get, you know, going to history books as America's greatest president. <laughs> Pilgrims evacuated after Muslim bomb threat at Lourdes. Isn't that amazing that the Muslims threatened to blow the thing up with the people in it? Are you serious? But you know, they said it wasn't Muslim extremists, it was Muslims, folks, that aren't extremists, that just said, we've got to, we're going to teach the infidels a lesson. Mm. Obama looks to boost Gulf tourism with a family trip. He was there for one day, and he basically didn't go to the Gulf. He went what? to Florida because Charlie Crist, he's supporting Charlie Crist, the independent candidate, against the Democratic Party's candidate. What? And he basically, Charlie Crist came out, I stand with President Obama on the mosque issue. Are you serious? Yeah. He did that. The whole the whole country, is, the whole place is filled full of people that came in legally from Cuba. And he's basically standing for a mosque to be built where they can't put uh, churches. Oh, they got to be pissed off. Yeah, they, they are. They got to be really pissed off. Now, and the other part is, what is Obama doing supporting an independent versus a Democratic candidate? Uh, because... Oh, because he supported the mosque? Because uh, the independent candidate, the Democrats running as far away from him as you can. He basically said that, uh, you know, we have an insensitive president with insensitive Muslims and an insensitive Democratic Party. That's why he's running against them. They don't like that. Threats of international Blackberry bans echo the U.S. debate. Oh, yeah. Basically, it's the net neutrality folks. That, uh, the, okay, India became the latest country to seize control of the Internet. The uh, people running RIM who run BlackBerry now have to go, everything has to go through the, the uh, Indian government now, which means total censorship for everything. <laughs> Productivity falls for the first time in a year. It's been falling for a long time. I was going to say, yeah. that somehow that doesn't okay. seem really likely. Here's, a, here's the thing. I pointed out the other day, you know, on Bear the Market, that the fact is they said that inventory, sales have been so good, inventories are at all-time low, and they're going to have to need new ordering. No, inventories are low because nobody is buying anything, and they're not reordering because they're not buying. So when they order something, it's not being replaced, folks. Mm. Canadian Navy Board's migrant ship. But they're intolerant because these were Muslims. Ooh. They let them land anyway. Oh, did they? Yeah, because they, they were being called intolerant by the president. Aid helps states escape layoffs, but for how long? Well, you can't keep giving them money. They just don't get, they don't get the idea. Sooner or later, somebody's got to pay for that money. And Japanese economy slows unexpectedly. <laughs> They're not selling anything. <laughs> <laughs> and they owe a fortune. Unemployment drives more U.S. home sellers to cut prices. They should have done that a year ago, and they might have sold them. Now there's like 15 million homes underwater, and the foreclosure rate just keeps getting higher. Really? The network neutrality in play again. Yep, Obama's one. They said that if Obama loses the fall election, they're going to do it, folks. Are you, you can look for the end of the year. Wait, wait, wait. If Obama home. loses, why are they doing it? Because, because Obama is wanting to consolidate power. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain and the Animal Kingdom. Well, there comes a time in this world where you have to stop being a friend or a relative and be an adult to that relative.